Can you give us an example of how an organization changed their physical workspace, which then resulted in more engagement, better product productivity, culture? Sure. Like uh, one of my favorite examples is a company by the name of Lazy Boy. I mean, they make furniture a lot like this, but with more of an ability to recline, right? It has a certain reputation in the market. It actually changed its headquarters about five years ago for the first time in its history. And but stayed in the same town of Monroe, Michigan, and built a headquarters that looked more like the type of business that you expect a Silicon Valley um, business to have. They purchased a former convent, they put in a walking park, they put in standing desks, they eliminated assigned seating in their offices, so offices became a first come, first served side. They changed the nature of the type of food they wanted to put in. They opened the building to light. And all of a sudden, you have a, 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 an environment that feels very Silicon Valley-ish in the middle of a small town in the middle of Michigan. And the CEO there, who we did interview in the book, talked about how he is absolutely positive that that led to the ability to retain a new um, category of employees that would have formerly passed up on Lazy Boy. So if a manufacturing company like Lazy Boy, a manufacturer of furniture, can really make significant changes, then, then a lot of other companies can also. You don't have to be a startup, a Snapchat, uh, a, a high-tech company. It really, the principles apply to any company to just upgrade the space and see what happens.